Alright, what's up everyone? This is going to be a review of the iPod Touch 4th generation. Now to get into it right off the bat, you can tell that there's a difference in the form factor. It's not that big of a difference, but there's a slight difference. Um, the back is completely flat now, and it tapers off around the edges. The volume rocker is now two separate buttons, and the lock button is now on the other side of the device. Also, there is a speaker grill right next to the 30-pin connector. Now, the biggest difference you'll see once you look at the device is that there's two cameras, a front-facing VGA camera and a rear-facing HD camera, which shoots 720p at 30 frames a second. Next to that is a microphone, which is a very welcome feature. Now, when starting this review, I'm going to compare it uh, directly to the iPhone 4, and then later I'll go back and compare it to other MP3 players and the previous iPod Touch. Now, compared to the iPhone 4, the cameras suck. The front-facing camera is the same quality, it's fine. The rear-facing camera is absolutely horrible. The colors aren't as vivid, it's very grainy when you shoot video or take pictures. Um, there's no focus. When you tap to focus on the screen, all it'll do is change the brightness. Um, so it's a fixed focus, and when you take pictures, it down them. I mean, it's already worse than the iPhones, but it down them even more from 1080 by 720 to, I think, 96, 960 um, by 720. So that's absolutely horrible. The video is not as good. That means the frame rate's the same, but it doesn't look HD at all because all the graininess uh, of it, graininess, I think that's the word, I don't know. Um, and the colors are just dull and you can't like, if you take a picture of like text or something, you can't read the text afterwards. Um, compared to the iPhone 4, it's absolutely horrible camera. Now the reason they said that they put this one in instead of the one that the iPhone 4 has with the 5 megapixel camera in it is because it would have made it thicker. Um, this is already thinner than the last iPod Touch. If it gets any thinner, it'll be too thin. You don't want to sit there and be holding like a little piece of paper in your hand eventually. You want to have some thickness to it. And this, while you can tout that it's thinner, it, I mean, you could have kept the same thickness and had a much better camera in there. The same camera as the iPhones. So that's not really an excuse in my book. But moving on from that is the speaker. The speaker is much better quality now. Whether it's because of the grill um, on the body now, or it's because the speaker in it is actually improved. It could be a mixture of both, but it is much better. Um, before, when you turn the speaker all the way up on the previous iPod, the third gen, it would like blare the audio and distort it so much that you couldn't even understand what was coming out. In this one, it's perfectly clear, and... You, you can turn it all the way up and still get the same uh, amount of clarity you can on the low uh, setting. Moving on from that is the screen. Now this is retina display, same as the iPhone 4, same resolution and same pixels per inch. But the only difference is there's no ISP in it, which is in, or IPS, <laughs> excuse me, um, which is in-plane switching. And so that's not that big of a difference. Basically what in-plane switching does is when you look at it, see how it kind of distorts it. If I had the brightness turned up, I have it turned down for the video so the camera can see it. But it will basically wash it out if you see it from extreme angles. I mean, you can't... It doesn't really that make that much of a difference because you're not going to be looking at it from that angle. Um, so that's not a big uh, down downer or whatever in my book but it's it is something um, that's not as good so the screens the same the performance is the same because it has the a4 chip just like the iPhone 4 and the iPad which is a very impressive chip um, it runs everything perfectly smooth on um, the multitasking high um, high performance not performance but high demanding games that demand a lot out of the processor in it it can perform those easily without any latency or anything and I mean the whole thing is really uh, good except for the camera. The camera is the biggest um, 
biggest bad thing about it. <laughs> uh, my my vocabulary is apparently really small today. But now I compared it to the iPhone 4 basically in one situation. This compared to the other iPod Touch, the third gen, and compared to other MP3 players, it is absolutely amazing. I mean, the cameras in it and the microphone built in and everything just makes it far superior. With the third party apps in the App Store, um, high quality games and stuff on it, um, Game Center now, which that's not that big of a deal, but the speaker in it compared to other MP3 players, this thing is awesome. Before, I would have either recommended a Zune HD, and it was basically neck to neck. Um, either Zune HD or iPod Touch when the third generation was the newest one. This one, I without a doubt can say the fourth generation iPod Touch. Because, just because of the cameras. Even though they're horrible compared to the iPhones, um, they're still a lot nicer to have. This also has FaceTime on it, which... I mean, if you have friends that have iPhones or iPod Touches, you can use. Even if you do have those friends, I doubt that you're going to use it that much. Because they're still going to need to be on Wi-Fi, and you're going to need to be on Wi-Fi. And, I mean, but the... Uh, oh, another down downside about it is that the headphones that come with it, instead of having the headphones that have the volume control and the mic on them, I guess since there's a mic built in now, they just threw in the generic headphones with the with the uh, just no volume control or anything so that is sucks in my book because I sold my other headphones with my iPod to get this one um, so I gotta get headphones now with volume control on it but I mean it's in compared to the iPhone is not as good at all but compared to other mp3 players it is there's none that compare to it um, so, I wouldn't give it a 10 out of 10, mainly because of the camera. Um, so, I'd probably give it about a 9 or a 8.5 out of 10 if I'm going to rate it. But, that's basically it. Um, I'll have more videos to come. Check out my channel, and I will catch y'all later. See ya.